This is gonna be a good episode. See my ass? Camera? <laughs> the camera? I like those sweats. Dude, you still have my sweater. What sweater? Clown boy. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast that goes unnoticed. Welcome back to the spot. Don't make it hot. We love you, even if you love us not. Ah. And welcome back to episode 37. Uh, shout out to everybody listening right now on Spotify and YouTube. And yeah, today we have a returning guest, a very requested guest. Yeah, we know you love you guys love him, so we decided to bring him back on. Say your name. Hello, everybody. My name is Gregorio. Uh, I'm back. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, yeah, we have Greg back on the podcast. Good to have you back. And Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, Appreciate y'all. After, after fucking, I don't know how long of, of like trying to get you on the podcast. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know if you know this, but you're actually our most viewed episode. Really? Oh yeah, you are. Like, oh, yeah. The, the, the I think it was the first episode. Second episode. Yeah, the second, second episode. episode with you is our most viewed episode. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, appreciate you guys for having me, man. Yeah, bro. So love have, love being here, man. Yeah, bro. But, yo, so you've been holding something here, bro. What do you want to say? Bro, oh, my God. So, I got out of work today, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, today was, like, an eye day. Like, it wasn't no crazy shit today. But, um, so I'm on my way home from work. And literally, bro, I'm not going to say the street name. Mm-hmm. But literally, not even that far from here. Literally at the light. What can I say? But yeah, I'll take it out. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, I'll, t- I'll, I'll bleep it out. I'll bleep it out. Right here on fucking, mm-hmm. right at this light right here. So I'm coming from, basically like like if I'm coming from George's crib, coming down. Right? Yeah. So I'm coming down Castleton, and uh, you know how this this light right here has yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's pretty big. So cars sometimes turn left towards like. Shit. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm there driving right, and um. I see two cars in front of me. They both have the left signal on to turn left. So I go to the right to go like around them. Mm-hmm. And as I'm going right, the car, the second car that was, you know, there's a fr- the first car and the second car. The second car fucking decides to like go to the right at the same time. Like as I'm, I'm as I'm passing him already, bro. And yeah. he literally like, like. Almost. Like, no, not almost. He hit my car, bro. He, like, car? he hit my car. And like, we literally just went like this. And like. I was like, I was like, there's no way this fucking shit just happened. Like, bro, it sounded like bad. Like, and I was like, I was like, no fucking way that this shit just fucking happened. Like, and, and the, and the car, like, and then the, and then I, I, I like, I stop and like, I see the, the guy and it was like a guy, older guy and his wife, I guess. And, um, and, uh, I put the window down. And I'm like, yo, are you fucking serious, bro? Like, you literally just have your left signal on. Like, why the fuck are you going right? Yeah. Like, are you kidding me right now? And he was like, it ain't, I, don't, I don't even know what the fuck he said, but I was already tight. And then he was like, oh, just pull over. So I'm like, I bet. So I'll pull over and he pulls up behind me. And then I'm like, and I get out of my car, bro. I look at my, my car door, bro. That shit looked bad. Like, the paint had gotten all over, like, the passenger uh, back and the front uh, driver, like, I was Scratched. like the like like the fucking shit was white and I was like bro and I went up to him and I'm like are you fucking kidding me like bro you're not paying attention like you have your left signal on you can turn it left man why are you going to the right like it doesn't make any sense like and then the, the, the his fucking like wife or whatever is like saying like oh like you were speeding like like and all this other shit like and yeah. I was like what the I'm like you know what lady I'm like I'm not even speaking to you I'm like don't even talk right now like I'm t- I'm talking to you to the guy like this has nothing to do with you like you're not driving like you can't really say much right now I'm just saying the fact that you have your left signal on you turning left if you had a if you had a at a light and you have your left signal on why would in a, in a million years would I think that you're going to the right yeah. I'm like and I'm like nah like and y'all hit me. And you over here asking me for my insurance. I'm like, I'm insured, bro. I'm like, I feel like you guys are insured, bro. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. They're like, oh, the guy's like, oh, I'm calling the cops. Like, um, and he's on the phone with the cops and he's giving them my information. I'm like, bro, take all the information I want. At the end of the day, you were the one to hit me. And the guy was dead ass telling me, oh, I did it. I did it. Um, I didn't have my left signal on. I wasn't going to turn there. I was going to turn more up the block. I'm like, listen, my man, like. Just own up to your mistake because you know you had your left signal on. I'm like, I don't know if you had it on because you knew you were going to end up turning left yeah. or what it was, but you had it on, bro. And I swear to everything, I saw him have that shit on, bro. And he dead ass fucking, like, bro. 
That shit got me mad tight, bro. Then, like, then imagine, the cops in the coming or? Bro, no. And I kept telling him, like, yo, listen. He kept calling the cop. He called the cops two times. I'm like, I told him straight up. I'm like, listen, bro. You wasting my time and you're wasting your time calling the police right now. I'm like, they're not going to come here. I'm like, honestly, the best solution that I have for both me and you is you give me money for hitting me. And you just go on about your day and I'll go on about mine. And it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. You know what he tells me? He said, you want me to pay you? I'm like, of course I want you to pay me. You just hit me. I didn't hit you. I didn't cause this. I'm just going around the, the left lane because you obviously turned the left. Bro, this motherfucker dead ass tried to tell me like, oh, you really think I'm going to give you money for this shit? Like, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, you playing right now. And then, so obviously call the police. Um, The worst part about it is that I can't even call my dad because my dad left the, his phone at the job. At the store. So I had his phone, bro. I had oh his phone. My and my, like a dumbass, I forgot I had it. So I'm there calling him. And then I realized, like, yeah. bro, I have his fucking phone. Like, I can't even call him right now. Bro. So then eventually, like, I was like, you know what? Like, like we have to resolve this, like, between us two. Because nobody's going to come, bro. I'm letting you know that right now. And he's not even from, he's not even from New York. He was from Jersey. And just, you know, just to make everything even make worse, worse, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm I'm telling him, like, listen, like, they're not coming, man. I'm like, we could wait here an hour, hour 30. Maybe they'll come in an hour 30. But right now, they're not coming. Yeah. And he was like, oh, just wait till the police come. Like, oh, just do this. Just do that. I'm like, fuck you. Like, just yeah. give me my money and I'm out. Like, why are you making this shit? Like, bro, his car was perfect. If he had a nice uh, bum-ass Acura, mm -hmm. right? Cause I hate Acuras. I always say this. Like I've I've always hated Acuras, and then it just ha it's just so happy to be an Acura that fucking hit me. Like it was like a 2000. I have his insurance and his license plates and all that. Yeah. But um, he was like, oh, let me take a picture of your insurance and all this other shit. So I'm like, go ahead. I'm like, but give me yours too. And I'm like, and um, I was trying to get this motherfucker to at least give me 300. Like I know it was OD, but like. I'm like, just give me 300 and we'll just call it there. But he was like, I'm not giving you 300. I was, and at that point, I was tight, bro. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Like, I kind of was kind of being douchey, but like, bro, I was heated, bro. To be honest, like, I mean, you kind of have the right to because he hit your car. Yeah. And bro, I, I'm saying, right? He hit my car and he still tried to act like he, like, it was kind of my fault that yeah. he did. Like, bro, even whatever you can say that maybe I try to cut them or go around them. He still, as a driver, should pay attention to his right his right mirror and see if there's a car coming before he even it's turns 100% the lane. It's 100 his fault, bro. Like yeah. even, bro, even for the simple fact that he had his left turn signal and he turned right, he's all, it's automatically his fault, bro. I'm like, like, bro, how are you supposed to assume that he's going right when he has his left turn? That's signal, what I'm bro? saying, bro. And I'm just like, like of course this happens. Like I know I had to come here. Like I was trying to rush home, like take a shower, at least just chill for a little bit because we were supposed to link up. Like around eight o'clock. Yeah. I didn't even leave over there till like, I mean, right here, like literally right here, like at this, um, at the light. I didn't leave till like seven forty, seven forty, bro. I got out of work oh at six oh six, bro. I was there for a minute, bro. Damn. I was there for a minute, man. Like just and waiting. Did, did you end up getting like some bread or like what? I know, nah, bro. So like, so eventually, like, I that's when I when I when I went up to him the last time and I told him like what we could do. Like I'm like, listen, you could either give me a hundred dollars right now. Hundred and fifty dollars, and we just call it. And they were telling me like, honestly, the the lady was like, I have no money to give you. Like, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You guys are two grown ass people. Like, yeah, you think I'm dumb? Like, you have a nice ass car. You don't think that I know you have some type of money? Yeah. Like, you ha must have something. Like, don't play me right now. I'm like, you have a nice ass car. I'm 23 years old. I'm broke as shit. I don't have no money, bro. Yeah, but you guys are grown folk. You guys have. They looked like they were coming from the hospital though, because they had their visitors pass. So, mm -hmm. and they were they were saying like, "Oh, you don't even know like what what's going on." Like, and and to a certain extent, I kind of felt bad in that way because the guy that the the the, the guy who was driving, he looked kind of like like out of it, kind mm -hmm. of in a way. Like like I was tight, so I would be speaking, and he would just kind of like zone out, zone out, like just like just like. Look like he's shut down. He's not even paying attention to what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, damn. Like, I took a me L. Like, my shit got hit. He just... I actually found out that he actually owns a pizzeria because I, I have his name and I have his address and everything. So I searched his name up. Pizzeria comes money. up. 
So yeah, like, I'm like, so he has money. Yeah, so he has money. Like what? Like, he ain't, but he's from Jersey. So I, I actually called the pizzeria. Yeah. And I was like, cause he already, I didn't even finish speaking. So like, he actually, we spoke about it and we said that we were gonna wait for the police to come. So I'm there waiting, and then he just like ended up just like leaving after I got all his information. He just left, just like that. He didn't even say anything. He just left, and I'm like. What the fuck? Like, what do I do now? Like, I've never been in that situation, so I kind of was, like, kind of, like, lost. Yeah. I was mad. Like, I was cold. I was wearing shorts. Like, just got out of work. Like, I, I just was, like, all over the place. And then, like, just, just like, the whole situation was kind of just, like... Wait, annoying. so right now, what? You know, you so right know now, I have no idea, bro. I, I didn't call my insurance. I called the police. I told them about a hit and run. I was like, oh, I'd like to report a hit and run and all this other bullshit. But, like... Bro, like, nothing really was... Bro, I knew it. His car kind of didn't have anything. Had, yeah. like, a little scratch. My car kind of took more... My, my car, my 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 um my driver's side door is kind of, like, a little dented in. Like, it's nothing crazy, but it's ah. it's still something, you know? Yeah. Like, not even... <gasps> did I tell you what happened a couple months ago where, like, my neighbor, like, literally backed into my car and just... Nah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. My whole yeah. shit. He told you, like, that he did it, right? And yeah, he, he left, told like, a me. Note, right, or something? Or? Yeah, no, nah, he came to my door, he knocked oh. on it, and he told me, and he even paid for it. Yeah. He gave me, like, almost close to a, a ban, like, to, to fix it. Like, and he didn't even complain about it. He was like, yeah, I fucked up, like, here's your money, bro. Yeah. You know? But I feel I mean, I don't know. There's always incidents like that, especially here in New York, bro, because literally, like, a, a week ago, my mom almost ha- got an accident similar like that. Like, a person a person was uh, going to turn right. They had their light on. And then, so my mom was going to go around the left, but ended up going straight. So, almost, like, they almost got in a collision like that. And, bro, it's just, it's, it's just mad dumb, because also, because a lot of people in New York don't know, like, don't know how to put their fucking... Their turn signals on, or they they keep it on sometimes without like yeah. even like like no, actually facts. turning into it. Not even just that, bro. It's just some people are fucking dumbasses, bro. Like I be, I be telling like um like everybody like that's why I be telling everybody to get like drive safe this and that because yeah you might be a good driver but everybody else is just a fucking dumbass. Bro. Yeah, like, that's that's what I always think. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter how good nah, of a driver facts, you are, bro. Mm-hmm. no matter how good of a driver you are. There's a dumbass out there that might cause an accident, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real like, shit. Like, um, literally, though, just recently, we were, like, going to go on a deli, little late deli run or mm-hmm. whatever. And right here, it was mad close. A fucking bus. I don't know if the bus hit a motorcycle or if the motorcycle hit the bus. But, like, there was mad cops and shit. Like, the whole mad buses were stopped right there. Yeah. And there was, like, an ambulance and shit. So, shit be crazy, bro. And sometimes it's not even your fault. Like, yeah. I don't know what the situation is. Mm-hmm. But if the bus hit the motorcycle, that's OD, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, yeah, just, it's nah, just fucking car, crazy. I, I'm on the road a lot because I do deliveries for my store and stuff. So, I see a lot. Like, I, I, I'm i on the road a lot. So, I get to, like, I don't want to say I'm a good driver, but I definitely feel like I am. Mm-hmm. But um, there's definitely moments where you're just like, what the fuck, yeah, man? Like, wrong with people, people yeah. really, stupid, though. Right? Yeah. And sometimes people, like, I'm not saying people should drive fast. But they drive like extremely slow, like yeah. abnormally. Are you slow, talking like, about like slow decisions or like no, like they like, just drive slow, bro? Like I'm talking. Nah, like I know, I know exactly tens. what you mean. Like I have that pet peeve. Well, like, people no, no. That drive what gets slow. me tight is when they make slow decisions, like like where it's like, like you see the car literally turning left and you have space in the right, like on some shit like that. But they still decide to wait till the car turns left. You know, I guess it's a safer option. But like, if you can see that he's waiting for traffic to turn left. Why are you fucking still waiting if there's space on the right? Yeah, like that's. I guess that's what that's what happened. But the the thing is that the guy, he wasn't paying attention to his mirrors, bro. Like you always gotta look before, regardless of anything. You should. Yeah. You turn into a lane, or you're just gonna turn to try to go yeah, around somebody. Yeah, exactly. He should have looked, bro, and he didn't. He just fucking just macked my fucking car, bro, and just acted like it was my fault. Like yeah, he's a fucking idiot. As if like. I caused it because I was going around him. Like, bro, you literally have your left signal on to turn left. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you turning right if you if you have your left signal on? I don't know, but people are just like stupid nowadays. Like, and you know, you know how my street like it doesn't have like any like stops, no, not stop signs, but like the lights or any like walking yeah, yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People always crash there, bro, because that intersection is mad dangerous. Like, people always end up crashing because cars block the left side, so you, so you got to be more out to, to see to your left. Yeah, yeah. Cars I block the right side, yeah. No, like, your, did, your, your block is dangerous, bro. Did, yeah, you, ever, bro. did you ever tell me about what happened with the dip, 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 dip? Did we ever talk about that on camera? Uh, I think we did, yeah. But I, I don't think he knows about that. Do you know what, what, what? The dip, dip, dip situation? It looks, it sounds familiar. Go, bro. You want me to say Go, it? yeah, bro. Go. <laughs> All right, so it was... um. 
almost three years ago, right? Two years ago. It was like two years ago. We were going to a Halloween party. And it was a Halloween party? Yeah. So we were going to a Halloween party. 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 And he was driving and shit. And like, so basically what happened was, is there was this tight ass street, right? And the thing is, there's cars mad close. So you have to turn a certain type of way so you don't hit, hit the cars. Like the car that's right here, right? But this guy ended up turning a little <laughs> too, too, too tight. Uh-huh. That he ended up like kissing uh, like a like 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 the back of another car with his back. But I didn't know that. Like I didn't feel it. I just I I knew though, and I th- I think I told you right. Oh, you, I, I, I don't I don't remember. I told him like, yo, bro, no way you just did that shit. And I was just like, I was just like, just keep going. And out of nowhere, I saw the car coming. I'm like, bro, the car is coming, bro. We gotta dip. <laughs> so oh, oh no. So he we try to we tried escaping type shit. We we spend the block whatever, and then we stopped somewhere hoping that we were not gonna see them. They ended up pulling up, started saying like, yo, you hit my car, this and that, whatever, this and that, and then uh. He he's like yo, what the fuck you want me to do? Like nothing even happened to the car, this and that or some yeah, shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then she's like, nah, fuck that. And then I saw that she through the mirror, I saw that she went back into her car and she was looking at the license plate, writing it down. I'm like, now's our chance, bro. And I was like, oh dip, god. dip, dip, dip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we fucking dip. And then like, bro, this is probably the stupidest decision of our fucking life. If you're trying to run from somebody. Don't, don't stay around the area, bro. Don't stay around the area <laughs> trying to hide at a dead, dead end. Because basically that's what happened. Yeah, so we, we try to hide. Dead end, yeah. we, we, we dipped. And then we found a little dark dead end. So we stayed right there. And we just turned off the car. Like we were posted right there. I was like, fuck, fuck. Let's, let's just stay here. Yeah. And then the bitches ended up coming, bro. And they were like, ha, ha, ha. You thought you could get away. Oh, ah, my yeah. God. And then, oh, and, then, God. and then he's like, oh, my fuck. Fucking shit! Yeah. Like, you got mad Even tight. Julia's laughing at you right now. And then, and then, I, and then I, saw that, I saw that there was a driveway because, like, so it was a bank, and there was like an entrance, and then the exit this way. So I was thinking, all right, go through the fucking entrance and go out through the. They're not. They can't fucking do it. So I was like, go like this. So I'm like, yo, just turn left, turn left fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dumbass, bro. <laughs> Top ten ter- worst driver, bro. He fuck- yeah, don't don't jack that, bro. Don't Top jack that. Top ten worst driver. <laughs> says says oh, the one who backed into a parked car. Get the fuck out of wow. here. Listen, I'm, not, I'm, not, here, listen, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a good driver, right? but I know you're not a good driver. I either. am a good driver. No, what no, are you no, talking no, about? No, 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 no. You've been in more so, accidents than me. So, so this dumbass, right? <laughs> this dumbass. Always the same thing. This dumbass. This dumbass. He fucking turns mad fast. I don't know why he decided to spin the wheel all the fucking way. <laughs> And now look where he was turning, but he ended up turning into a fucking fence. Yeah. And he fucked up his car, bro. <laughs> and the then left, the and left then, side of the car. And yeah. the bitches back started backing up. Ah, ha, 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 woo, and they just dipped. Yeah. And then yeah. Were they in an Nissan Altima? Nah, nah, they had like a red van, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they were definitely. <laughs> they like had a red van, bro. Yo, I see. I seen the meme on TikTok, like all oh, the bitches in the Nissan, the fourth, like five thoughts in the Nissan Altima. It's like screaming, uh, ah, like no, no, no. What, what's the song? Um, the I was feeling you. Yeah. The yeah, I was feeling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. The, nah, but I, I don't want. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. You you got into the same type of accident multiple times. You no, backed I'm into a bad driver, bro. Yeah, I admit but I, that. I'm, yeah, but that was only the like one time thing. No, 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 no. Don't even. Let's not start, bro. Remember the first time where you drove the very first time? That was that like, was without car experience. This guy was like. Yeah, <laughs> you, didn't fucking, you didn't even fucking turn. That was without me learning how to drive. What are you oh talking about? God. I never no, knew how to drive. No, bro, so that doesn't my, count. My accidents were like the very first time I was driving a car no, too. Was it? Yes, my personal car. Yes, and your, I your car, and her car. But I, I, I never got taught how to park <laughs> properly, bro. My I never car. got taught how to par- park my properly. Car. So I was trash at parking. And I never took my road test. I was driving without what, a license. So what does parking in the parking lot have to do with backing up into another car? That's just me being stupid. That has nothing to do. <laughs> but I'm talking about like the side fucking scratches out everywhere. If you see my car, you know what I'm talking about. So my car is scratch on one side and scratch wait, on the other wait, side. Wait, it was it, didn't come like that. No, that, I did that. <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty like that. My car was fucking perfectly oh fine before God, I got it, bro. bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Those huge scratches are because of me, and the indent in the back is because of me, bro. The, uh, the, 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 the huge one in the back, I, I kind of know why. Yeah, we, but we, I, never, I, about that. I never knew about the side one. We'll talk about that. All right, we won't think about that. Bad, but, um, more, more of the story, like, be a, be good, a driver, good driver. Bro. Be safe. Be a be good safe. driver. Use your signals. 
Don't do no dumb shit like that. Always check your mirrors, bro. Exactly. And, uh, and it's also it's true about the Nissan Altima, like memes, like like that we be speeding for no reason. Like I don't know why I speed with my fucking car. Like it's a trash. I have one too, bro. So yeah, now we, we, we all we all have Nissans, bro. Mine's Altima. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Maxima. Right? He's the only yeah. one with the Maxima. <laughs> What's wrong with Maxima, bro? Nah, not no, bro. I wanted one, bro. They, they don't shit on. Uh, they shit on Ultimas. Like, oh, did I? Like the car yeah. community be shitting on Ultimas because yeah, it'd be like, all right, like uh, you're in a scat pack, whatever, and then I don't know where you see the the, the Nissan Ultima, the Ultima, Nissan Ultima right just the you, yeah bro. yeah being fucking uh, like, a menace to society. Okay, okay, okay. Fucking I've seen shit. this one where it was like um, me going a hundred miles per hour. Right, you ever seen uh, Jeepers Creepers? Yeah, the yeah, beginning yeah. of the movie where the where the kid is just driving normally and then. The guy, Jeepers Creepers, obviously coming, like, behind him, like, coming mad fast, like, beeping, honking, mm-hmm. like, the meme was, like, me going 100 miles per hour, Nissan Altima right behind me, like. And it was that one? It was him, bro. like, Jeepers Creepers, like, nah, it's dead ass facts, though, like. Nissan Altima, bro, there's, there's this guy on TikTok, he said he was going to build a, a Heltima. You know what a Hellcat is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm going to build a, a Heltima. Oh, so what my the fuck God. going to do, like. Bro, he's just uh, fucking trolling, but, like, he's going to modify his Altima, whatever, whatever. Bum ass shit, bum ass cars. Fucking Nissan Altima. No, but I have, I have like this topic that happened in my in my job that I, I want I want to get you guys a perspective on. So, uh, so I think on Saturday or Friday, like I wasn't working, my coworkers were working. But tell me what you got, what you guys would do in this situation. So this is a, a coworker who had problems with like a nice boyfriend or whatever, and like the ex boyfriend is I guess is abusive or whatever or like crazy, oh, and so pulled up to the job where with this, with a black ski mask, right? He pulled up to the job to with the, the job with a black ski mask, mask okay. and then the girl. Ran to the back of the the stock room. The store. So, everybody else had to try to like get the guy out, right? But this guy has a uh, like history of like having guns and shit like that. Might have might have something on him, right? And there's two um, I have two other coworkers who are guys, and then the rest are girls that were there at the time. So the two other guys like they didn't really do anything because they knew. Like, he might have something on him. So, they didn't do anything. It just, they, they just got security. But everybody is mad at the two guy, my two guy co-workers because they didn't try to, like, stop him. Stop him. I'm on, what his, the I'm fuck? on their side. I'm on their side. Who? Bro. The, the guy's side. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not risking my life for a fucking, That's what like, I'm saying, bro. That's not my fucking problem. If you got yourself... All right, listen. Now, it sounds it, fucked up, No, bro. no, no. Listen, listen. Now, if it was, like, like somebody who's close to me, like, for example, you guys are... Yeah. Or, like, like uh, a close. Friend, a friend. Like, a real friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not my fucking coworker. I don't yeah. give a fuck about you. I, that's fucked up, but, like... But it's, sometimes it's true, bro. Yeah, like, I, yeah. Bro, my coworker's not worth my life, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah you're just nah, my coworker. You're just my coworker. You can't get... My opinion is you can't get involved in between, a, a mo- like, a situation like that, because, like... I don't. You just never know, bro. Like you, you don't know the guy. You don't know what he's about. You don't yeah. know what he's gonna do to you, or anything. The the girl. I mean, it's fucked up as as fucked up as it sounds. Like it's her problem. It's it's kind of her problem. You just had to be brought into it because it just happened at your job. Yeah. Like, yeah if bro. you weren't there, that problem would have probably still happened. You just wouldn't have been there because it would have been in a pri- more uh, private yeah. area. But. Oh, bro. To be honest. Bro, just call the cops. Like. No, no, but like, they, they called the security, but security didn't do shit. Like, they were call just the cops, there. bro. Call the but cops. But my security, I think, I think at the they mall. did. Like, mad cops were like, or like at the mall, like that day or something like that. See, mm-hmm. now that's valid. Like, but what the fuck are you gonna do, bro? Yeah, but they, they're still mad at one of my coworkers because, like, I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe just a little bit. Like, you'd be like, bro, really? You couldn't even like try. If they just stood there and was like. Then it maybe it's kind of fucked up, but if yeah. if if they like try to do something and like the guy Tamien is like like kind of like forcing himself a little too much, like yeah. at that point, like what what more can you do? Like I'm not gonna I'm not about to get into a full on fist fight for this yeah. for like a coworker that like. So like the, I, I guess tomorrow, the way I see it too like, is kind of like all right, what 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 if, what if you do step in right mm-hmm. and then whatever it escalates, you guys end up fighting or whatever, and what if he ends up pulling a gun and then he kills you, or what if you fuck the guy up? But that guy knows other people to come back. Now he knows your face, and so he could get he could get his lick back in, like and that, then that like, get you. That's that's yeah, bro. That's just the way it is sometimes. Like and people don't realize that shit. How like how how things can escalate just from one little thing, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like the whole thing that we we talk about, like uh, how like that situation. I don't know if we told. I'm, I'm pretty sure doesn't know about it. Yeah, like let's say let's say you're in a line and um. 
let's say you're at McDonald's and two big big ass motherfuckers, right? Come in and they skip the line. And they, they just skip everybody and shit and they order what the fuck are are you gonna say something? Cause I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And for the simple fact that I don't wanna lose draw my life attention. over McDonald's. Sure, draw attention to yourself. Not even just that, or like I don't wanna get into fight for McDonald's over for McDonald's, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, or like yeah, something sure, so sure. little. Somebody like I don't know, whatever. I'm just assuming, right? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that these people don't have nothing to lose. And yeah. it has nothing to do with the race or whatever. It could be anybody but what i'm just saying is that some people don't have nothing to lose and they they're willing to lose everything over something so stupid so, as, so stupid as that. Yeah. especially more that i have a daughter like what fuck up do i look like getting into a fight with a stranger over something so simple like that yeah, yeah nice nah, like, it's, it's, it's it's definitely a tough question bro like the real like the inside of you is like yeah i want to fucking say something but like it's like you have to think about it like is it really worth it like yeah it's just your ego getting yeah, like yeah, affected. Yeah, yeah. Like you wanna, you wanna say something. Fuck that! I'm not pussy, but like, you saying fuck. something, George? Nah, no, nah. nah. Like, yeah. I, 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 also the situations like, let's say you're with your girl, like, and then two of the guys, big motherfuckers, like, cutting, cutting in front of y'all. Like at that point, you just be like, the fuck. <laughs> you just gotta look at it like, what the fuck. The the thing the thing that the thing the thing that I be thinking about the the thing that I be thinking about though is that what if somebody slaps her ass? Oh, that's different. Oh, like though. That, that's ass? different. Yeah, that's yeah. Different. Like, that's yeah. fucked up. Bro. Like what? Like what I would do is I'd be so, like, yo, straight up, like, listen, like that shit was disrespectful. No guns, no knives. Let's just fight. That's it. Because yeah. I'm not fighting nobody with a knife or a gun. I, I'm being straight up. You can't. Yeah, you can't win. Like. You can't win. You can't and bring then, a knife to a missile and fight. I, I would literally say that, bro. Like, be a man. If you wanted to do that in front of me, you could be a man enough to to fight me one on one. No knives, no guns, and don't even tell your friends to jump in because that now that's even pussy. Like, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, yeah. like that. That's what I would say in the moment because I'm not gonna buy to just start some problems and out of nowhere, one of them has a knife, one of his boys have a knife, or their boys decide to jump me too. And I just get fucking Bro, speaking of, <laughs> fucked up like crazy. Speak, speaking of knives, like I don't know if you guys seen the video. There was a, a video of a of a kid, like so basically. Uh, all right, I think I know what you're talking so, about. So, all right, so there was this Asian kid just walking down the hall, right? And then, oh, and then shit, a guy, yeah. and then another guy, he kid, another kid, another, yeah, another kid was running to him with a knife, trying to stab him in school. Like this happened in New York. I don't know what specific in school, school, bro, but he was running to the to the kid with a knife trying to stab him, but. I, but the, luckily, like the the Asian kid didn't get stabbed. Like he he actually like fall back and like and he helped to like not get stabbed. But it's just shit like that. People are doing that shit in school too. Nah, nah. But the worst part about the whole situation is like uh, Abby told me she's like when the kid was holding the the other kid down, the kid was yelling, "Yo, call somebody, call security, somebody call security." All the kids were just looking at him. Bro. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to mention that all the kids were not like trying to like help. Like bro, like like. He had to literally yell for his life, like security, security, like. That's so sad, bro. That's it's what crazy. I'm saying, it's man. crazy, like how how far we've drifted from like helping each other out, and like, you know, sometimes you see something and you just kind of like look at it and you just kind of like, and you, or t- people take out their phones. And you yeah. and you know and you know it's true when people who are older than us are saying these things, bro. Like my coworkers, mm-hmm. like uh, he he's like he's like close to fifty, okay. close to. 50, 40, around there, you know, late 40s, close to 50, whatever. And, like, I told him, I'm like, yo, hey, like, because he, because we were talking about electric cars, mm-hmm. and he was saying how, like, shit is changing and shit. And I was like, yo, like, if you really think ch- things are changing so bad, what what is, like, the biggest difference? Like, what do you think is different from how I grew up than how you grew up? Yeah. And he was like, I mean, well, to start, people are more scared now. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, like, like predators and pedophiles and kidnappers was always a thing. But for some reason now, that's what everybody's talking about and they're scared of. Mm-hmm. So he's like, that's like more... And he's like, which is crazy because I would think kids are more safer now since we have phones, we have trackers, this and that. But it's crazy how it's still a more... Like it's, it's a bigger problem than what it was problem. before. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Like he said before, the kids would walk to school like it's nothing. Like people in, will leave their houses unlocked. Oh, that's shit. what I'm saying, bro. And then also like a, um, a fucking a customer that was a Vietnam veteran. Mm-hmm. He even said it, bro. Mm-hmm. He's like, like, bro, times are crazy now. Now, like, you got people killing each other, school shootings and shit like that. Like that shit was unheard of back in the day. 
And to hear that from somebody that's like older and shit, it just goes to show how much like shit change. Like shit is just going like this, bro. It's going downhill. Yeah. Yo, what do you what? Now that you're saying that, like shit is going downhill. Like, what do you what do you think about like? Have you guys heard about rivers and shit like drying up? Uh, I, I, I talk, I, I've seen a river in China dry up. I don't know about other rivers. Yeah, I've seen also a river. The Mississippi in, River's drying up. Too. The Mississippi River's dry, drying up. Pretty sure, yeah, bro. I didn't. I yeah, did not know bro. that. Wait, would you see that like an article or some shit? Or yeah, like? I see. I think I seen it on Facebook. I was just having this conversation with uh, my son Chris yesterday night, and he was um, we were talking about it about how like. It's just a bunch of shit, or like I think it's a what is it, Pac- Pakistan? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a river they're, over there that. Or I, nah, I think they're like going, they're getting like underwater, but like they're literally like sinking, like uh-huh. the whole. There's like water starting to come in into the land and like really sink that place up, bro. I'm not sure. I could be wrong about the place, but there's yeah. there's a there's, there's a country out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's also certain parts in the, the Middle East. I don't know exactly where. But there was this river that that is said that whenever um, the world is going to come to an end, that specific river was going to dry up, and it's dried up now. Completely. Yeah. So shit is shit is bad, bro. It's yeah. kind of scary. Like like they're dead ass pushing to ban the sell of the the selling of gas powered cars in New York by like twenty thirty five. So in, like in, in ten years from now, bro. In in California, that's actually a law already in twenty twenty four. By twenty twenty four or twenty twenty five, it's a law. It's official. By 2025, there's going to be no more gas-powered cars in California. Only electric cars? It, that's the only car that's going to be be allowed to, to, like, to be sold, to be sold and shit. Yeah. Wait, is that, is that why like gas prices recently have been rising, like, going up again? Yeah, or what's the reason with that? Because I, I saw I saw like gas prices... Yo, like, yo, what the fuck does that mean? Oh. I don't know why the yeah, gas is going up, because... Everything goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. scary. But all, all I do know is that, like, one thing that I'm going to tell everybody, and, like, now that I'm, like, starting to understand certain things, it, it's very true. There's there's no point of having a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have a million dollars, right? In a year from now, that shit's only going to be worth $800,000. Mm-hmm. But you're still going to have a million dollars, but it's not going to be worth as much. But let's say you buy a million dollar house, next year it might be worth one point two million. Yeah, you gotta you gotta buy um assets. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, assets. Yeah. What it's called? Assets. Yeah. Yes, you gotta buy assets. Not liabilities. Buy, buy, yeah, liabilities. Liabilities, liabilities. liabilities are things that lose money. For example, cars. Cars. Yeah. Unless they're collectibles. Yeah. Shoes are assets. Believe it or not. Yeah. Some can be. Some yes. can be liabilities. Some, some are liabilities, but shoes are dead ass assets. Like, bro. So there's certain, if you buy yeah, there's a million items, dollar. Yeah. Pay, a collection that's worth a million dollars next year might be worth two million dollars. Yeah, definitely. Depending 100%. on the shoes too. Depending yeah. on the shoes. Yeah. What I'm saying that's a, that's an example. So it's like, it's it's crazy how like shit over time changes and certain people don't know this. They think that just saving up their money is nah, like yeah. saving nah, saving money is yeah, yeah yeah it's yeah, gonna yeah. get them through like a fucking depression for example. But like it's having certain things that you could get more. I, I don't know how to explain get more it. get more money out of certain things. Yeah, yeah, like an investment, you know whatever. Yeah, like uh, what's that called? Like different amount, different types of income that you know will not like be affected in the future type shit. I, I guess. guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why that came to mind because the whole thing. Oh, that's why because everything is changing and shit. And like I'm scared to like like I'm scared for the future, especially because I feel like I don't know like. I just imagine this future where it's like everything is so different that even we think it's it's crazy how different it is, you know? Yeah. Damn, bro. Thinking about the future is, is, is really scary. Like, bro, bro like, I, I just imagine, like, everything's so futuristic. Like, yo, electric like, cars. Bro, and next thing you know, they're, they're, it's already out, bro. A, a truck that's self-driving, bro. Now imagine what, how many jobs that's going to take away. Imagine how many truck drivers are gonna have no jobs. Yeah, that means no fucking truck drivers. Meaning, mad people are gonna lose their jobs. Mad unemployment rate is gonna go up. Yeah. Now, like, what's next? There's already a, a grocery store that uses. It's an Amazon store that uses no cashiers, bro. You just go in, you scan that you went in, you fucking scan everything that you get, then you use Apple Pay and you dip. It's crazy out here, bro. And now, if every single grocery store has that. Robots are taking over, bro. Yes. Like you heard of the line before? The, the line, what? like it's like a city that they're building, but it's in a straight line. 
I think so. Where in but, like Dubai? Uh, I think so. Around there, yeah. yeah somewhere like that, they, right? They, they started build like they started like building everything. Like they started making the whole like big ass the line shit. Like mad people are already like on, on the construction and stuff. So and the whole purpose of that is. Uh, I forgot what it said, but I do know that they want AI like flying around to to help and shit and like everything to be close to each other. Something Damn, like that. Damn, bro. Nah, that's yeah, fucking like, crazy. Yeah, you know, this this world is going to. It's a, taking a a, 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 ter- a, yeah. a term, bro. Yeah. This gives me Terminator. Like bro. AI, right. AI and technology is gonna be like a big thing in the future world. It's kind of like, yo, what the fuck? That just I feel like that's just uh, like that. I feel like that proves. Cause I I feel like humans are actually dumber than what we think we are, cause I feel like we think we're so smart to the point that we like we feel like we could do everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But look, half of the things that we do, we need machines to do it. Yeah. Half, of, bro, we can't go from here to fucking uh, across the country without a fucking airplane, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's how fucking like not powerful we are. If you know what I'm trying to say, like. I feel like we have we as, depend as we depend race, on a lot of things. Yeah, I feel like as a human race we have too big of an ego that that's going to bring us to our downfall. downfall. Our downfall. Yeah, that's going to be our downfall, bro. Yeah. That we yeah. think we're so smart that we actually end up fucking destroying ourselves because of our quote unquote smart creation. Yeah, it's, it's like you said too, like Terminator, like they fucking did AI robots and like they fucking end up killing the fucking human race. That shit is crazy, bro. I'm scared. Uh, we we're not saying this just so we could like like paranoid you guys. We just want you, to, I guess, to be open about shit like this because stuff like this is already changing. And if you don't notice it already, then you know, we're not, we're adapt not to the change. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not woke we're either. Not woke. You'll be like, you'll be you'll be behind. Dude, this uh-huh. is all like like <laughs> TikTok shit, but yeah, just don't don't, don't let the par- like get you paranoid, bro. Like just continue living your life. Facts, not for real. But. Uh, I know. I uh, change the topic because let's let's get right, off right, a little go, conspiracy. Go, go. We're not woke or nothing like that. <laughs> but uh, you did want to bring up something that you told him and you told everybody oh. else. But I okay. forgot he was gonna be on the episode. Yeah, so yeah you yeah, should yeah, have yeah. told him either. I mean, nah. But I, I mean, no. We we didn't know either. It was literally like till he on till the spot, he, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, so basically, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, go, go. All right. So recently, uh, my godmother and a few other like relatives went to. It was a baby shower, right, Abby? It was a baby shower? All right. So they went to a baby shower, and you know how they were playing the games and stuff like that, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like drinking the, the baby bottle or, like, the other stuff? Yeah, okay. So this specific game that they were playing was the, the drinking the baby bottles. There was three people or four people standing, right? And my godmother had took a video, and she took a picture. In the video, it's normal. But the picture, you can see a little girl, like, running through, like, pe- the people playing the game. And... We're running through them? No, not running through them, but like in front of them. Okay. In front of them, in front of them. And they did more research and like they asked around. And so the one of the pers- one of the people that are in the photo, like the guy who's who's drinking the, the baby bottle, he had a mo- a mom and a, and a sister from Mexico and they were gonna come here. So they were they, they said that they they both were gonna cross I think it's the Rio, right? They were gonna cross they were gonna cross that. And they both ended up drowning, and the the brother had a more, like, close relationship with with the sister because he would always tell her I love you this and that like they would always just be mad close, and the girl in the picture ended up being the girl that like her sister the guy the guy's sister. How the fuck does he know that's her though? Because the guy has said that the girl little girl always comes to him like. Like you know how maybe in dreams or maybe he sees her, but cause he he also he he also became alcoholic ever since then because it made him Damn. depressed. But yeah, so he he says he sees her he, and she tells him that it's gonna be okay that I love you and yeah that I'm here to protect you and he always hugs her and yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna show you the picture too. But yeah, this picture right here is the girl and. Oh my gosh, I don't want to see it, bro. Yeah. Like, nah, I seen that chill. shit. That's just fucking definitely creepy, bro. Nah, I don't want to see it, bro. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, bro. Here. The little girl right there running. And and they've already asked around. Nobody was nobody in the party like had those shoes or was in was at the party. And that's the guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the guys in the picture. 
Bro, she's like transparent, bro. Bro, that's what I'm saying. The legs are like non-existent. Like you can yeah. see one, but it's like it doesn't even look real. Like it you just. Can show looks... again, cause I just, uh... It's been a minute. It's been a minute. What the yeah. fuck, bro? Damn. But just imagine that. It's hard bro. to see at first, but then you can see the boots and shit, yeah. and then you see it. Like when, it, when when my mom was telling me that, I was like, no way, cause when she showed me it. I was like, there, nah, there's, there's definitely, that's probably just a girl that there was at the party she just ran through when they were playing games. There's no kids around either. Like, no, there's kids in, at the party, but. That, like, yeah, no, but like, like, no, around, like around them. Around them, like, yeah, around yeah, them, yeah. Around them, there's yeah, no yeah. kids. It's like, 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 she's not chasing anybody. She's not with nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, by yeah. herself walking at the same time. So it's kind of like, bro, I, I was <laughs> really, I was really like skeptical when I saw the picture. And nah, you could clearly see it's transparent, bro. Yeah, I just didn't want to believe it. That's the thing. I I, I just was like, nah, there's no way. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, bro, but that's that's the whole like I guess story behind that picture and like Damn, what the fuck? Who ended up being? Damn. Nah, nah that's bro, fucking crazy, fuck, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, um I I guess they do say that like uh like um people that pass away do come to you in your dreams. Mm-hmm. Cuz I I said it in LA. I don't know, you probably didn't watch the episode. But you know my uncle, right? Uh, Lupio. Mm-hmm. Lupito. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So when he passed away, like literally a couple, like uh, maybe some time later, like I was sleeping, mm-hmm. and I remember being in Port Port Richmond High School, and like in school or whatever. And I remember going up. It was my first day of school and shit. And I remember getting my schedule, but I I, I didn't know where to go, so I asked somebody else because I lost my schedule literally right as soon as I got him at them. <laughs> but um, so I asked. Uh, somebody where to go They told me Oh we have the same class Let's go So I ended up going with them And then my teacher My science teacher Ended up being uh, My uncle The one who passed away So wow. I saw him But he looked different He looked young And he looked like He looked like how He looked like when I was younger Okay Cause I remember like he He like He He looked like Like skinnier And he looked like Healthier in a way You know what I'm saying Yeah yeah definitely bro And like, and like when I saw him I was just like Yo what the hell Like what the fuck You're my teacher I was mm-hmm. like, you're my teacher for real. And he's like, yeah, but but I, I'm leaving already. Uh, I I just wanted to say bye or whatever. And no, mom. Like, yeah. Yes, bro. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, trying to make me cry, bro. Uh, that's, stuff that's like OD, that be like bro. getting to me, bro. It's kind of uh, like I was like, damn, well, I mean, I right, bet. And then he, but he looked different, bro. He looked like all like like healthy and shit, like nice and clean. I guess that's what happens when you go to heaven or some shit. Like if you if you see your family members, like you probably see them like. Like the, all, best, the, all, best like the best, the best, the best, the best version of themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. That's probably yeah. how you see them and stuff. But like. wow, bro, that's yeah, that's, that's that shit was crazy for sure. Yeah, I remember waking up the next morning. I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, did did you end up telling your mom about? That's all my mom. She's probably like, oh, he he was probably supposed to teach you something, mm-hmm. but he just never got to teach you it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, because he was supposed to be my teacher. He was probably supposed to teach me some shit. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Yo, he just didn't. Yo, what the he fuck? He probably just didn't get the time to. Damn, bro. Nah, it, was that's probably, crazy. it was probably wrong timing, you know? Yeah. And can you say that that's, that's been one of your craziest dreams that you've had? or like Honestly, what? That, that probably has been one of my craziest dreams. And, and yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I also remember the day he passed away. Like, I just couldn't believe it. I had a feeling it was going to happen, though. I'm serious. I knew it was going to happen because my uncle, my other uncle, um, Alejandro, you, I think you knew him or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, my the first uncle that passed away... um. It was literally the same way that happened to this one. Like, he was sick in the hospital. It was taking mad long for him to get back from the hospital. And we just couldn't get updates on what was going on, what was going on. And then that happened. Same thing with this uncle. He was, again, it was taking mad long to get updates. And I kept asking my mom, like, the fuck, like, where is he? She just kept saying he's sleeping and shit. And I kind of had a feeling already that, because I'm, I'm older now, I'm like, all right, bro, like, mm-hmm. shit like this happens and shit. And when I found out, I was just like, damn, bro. I remember going outside and I had to move his car. And I was just mad fucking tight in there. I was just like, nah, this probably had to be the hospital or something. Because some shit like that. And I was yelling. I was like screaming inside the car, bro. Like mad tight, bro. I'm like, this shit is crazy, bro. This shit's crazy. Mm-hmm. And when we went to the hospital, bro. I was even tight there. And I, I, I literally was about to fucking yell at like the people there. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I pressed the fucking doctor that told us he died. Like... Bro, what the fuck? What were you guys doing this whole fucking time? Like, mm-hmm. like, bro, there's no way that you couldn't do anything, bro. It's fucking impossible, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, yeah. It, it was crazy, but yeah, that. A lot of emotions, bro. Yeah, it, it was. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy. Damn, bro. What about you, bro? What about your dreams? Your dreams ever tell you anything? Not me, bro. Specifically, it's always my mom and my and my godmother who has like dreams and like sometimes they come true. 
Okay. Like, I guess one one thing I can remember is that it's not like something like tra- like it's traumatic, but like not in the way you expected. Like, my mom had a dream about me. Uh, I, something something bad happened to me. Yeah, yeah. And she, but she didn't tell me because usually when she tells me, nothing happens. So mm-hmm. whenever she has a bad dream about me or or, or, any, or anybody, she usually tells them just like, "Yo, be careful. Yeah, like, yeah. You're gonna go drive. Just drive safe, and be aware." So this one time that she didn't tell me, the next day, like I, I went to go play soccer and I ended up breaking my arm. So <gasps> no, she, that's because she didn't tell me about the dream, and then she told me the next day when after I broke my arm, I had a dream about you, but I just didn't tell you. So if she would have told me that something would have happened, I would have been more caref- careful, yeah, yeah, and I definitely. would have broken my arm. Damn. Yeah. But, nah. Yeah. I remember a couple of days ago we were we were just here on on Halloween and shit, and um, I remember Abby talking about. I how, was just gonna mention that how she says that point. like her dreams sometimes could like like show her like um like what like what you said shit that's about to happen or like you just like just, just just like, like yeah okay. yeah. So I've I've I actually at one point in my life I had dreams that were like coming true like like, like what specifically? So I had this one dream that um so I was uh me uh and two of my friends like um were in a car together in the nighttime and it was raining yeah. and one of the one of my friends was crying about her her man at the time uh-huh. and how like. Oh, he gets me so mad, like, like, this and that, like, he does, like, she was basically very upset, uh-huh. and then, like, um, and I just remember being in the back seat and looking like, damn, like, I can't believe this is happening right now, like, I feel bad for my son, Yelly, like, uh-huh. oh, Yelly, yeah, it was Yelly, mm-hmm. and um, all this other shit, and this is my dream, what I'm talking about. A couple of days later, we go to a party, and, um... Like same de- thing. It's just deja vu. Me. It, yeah, it was kind of like deja vu. Like it was me, the same people that were in my dream, the three of us yeah. in the car, and she Yelly was... talking about the fact that, like you know, she was mad yeah. at her man or whatever, and like, and she was upset and all this other shit. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I just dreamt this. Like I literally just dreamt this. Yeah. It, and before that too, I it was New Year's Day, 2021. Oh, I had fallen asleep on my couch. I still remember. I had a dream that I was like laying down on a on like a place that I never really seen before, and um, I was watching TV, and like it was like just specifically what I was doing in my dream. I woke up and I just was like, "What the fuck? Like, that's so weird." Like a couple of days later, that same thing that happened in my dream. I'm not gonna get too much into detail with it, but. Whatever was happening in my dream was literally happening in real life. Like, and I just, like, I was telling my friends, like, yo, bro, like, I keep having these dreams where, like, shit just keeps happening. Like, like shit just keeps, like, happening in real life. Whatever I'm dreaming just happens a couple days later, co- like, and all this other shit. And then this, there's been times where, like, I've dreamt, like, have you guys ever had, like, a dream where you could see yourself, like, there, but you're not, like, like but like, you're, like, like a different dreaming? person? Like third person, like a like kind of like a third person. So like I've had a dream where like I had fallen asleep. So like obviously I'm sleeping. Yeah. In my dream, I fell asleep, but I was still able to walk around and like look what was going on. Mm-hmm. So what the fuck? I had a dream where like I was laying down, right, and uh, I got up to do something, and I ended up walking into like uh like a like a pool backyard, and I and I was like looking at some basically some fuck shit going on like right in front of me and i was like there looking like what the fuck is going on and then i ended up like like i don't even know what happened i ended up going back into like back into my like basically me back into your body back into yeah basically like back into me and i woke up like myself in in my dream i woke up in my this fucking sounds crazy i know it sounds like mad like tongue twisting and i'm not getting really into detail what's going on and shit but it just like felt so crazy because you feel, I felt like I was out of, outside of me. I felt like I was like not supposed to be like looking at what I was looking at. Like mm-hmm. I felt that, like that that weird feeling of like the fuck is going on. And then I actually had a dream recently, kind of around the same, but not. But it definitely like kind of fucked me up. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I, I'm having like this, this meme block where like, I can't even think about any other dreams right now, but 
I mean, um, I don't know if you have more to say, but I was gonna cut you off with the thing that you were about to say with the whole Abby thing. Mm -hmm. Like, do you, do you, she told you, right? You, did you hear? So what happened was is that, um, so recently, I don't know if you knew, but uh, May, like her house caught on fire. No, I didn't know. So her house caught on fire. Okay. And um, the the night before, like uh, Abby, she had a no. I thought didn't you have the dream about the house? I had a dream about fire too. I had you a, had the dream. I had I had one dream, but, but I she think had she feeling. had something else. She no, had, she, she had was a feeling. feeling. She she as soon as she woke up. She had a weird feeling, like a gut feeling. You know how they say trust yeah. your, trust your, your gut. intuition, yeah. your yeah. gut feeling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as soon as she woke up, for like she even told me, she's like, I feel like there's something wrong. And then like she literally went on her phone and like she saw the messages. Damn. And like, bro, she also be on some weird shit. Like, not weird shit, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause yo, like, um, uh, I remember her saying, like, before we even had Julia this and that. Before I even had a car, she's like, I had a dream about you when, uh, about your first car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like, it was a car. The fuck? What car? What? what, what? And she said it was a bleep all that. Okay. But that's what I drive now. Damn, bro. And this was before I had, I had the car. That's just crazy. Nah, bro. bro. Dreams, dreams are definitely a and different vibe. Another bro. crazy part. So one night, uh, it's when you were pregnant, still, right? Which one? When we had the merge dream. Oh yeah. So she was pregnant, and uh, like we would sleep cuddled up all together, and like sometimes I feel like, like when we touch, we like connect. Like it's mm -hmm. weird, bro. I don't know, yeah, like yeah. if you ever feel that. Like sometimes when you touch somebody, you like feel like your energy going into theirs and their energy going into mm -hmm. yours. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely, weird. bro. It's whatever. So that that hap that happens a lot, but um. So I think we fell asleep cuddling or whatever, and uh, so <laughs> cuddling. and then um, the next morning. Yeah, yeah. I had told her I'm like, yo, I just had a weird ass dream, bro. Like we were somewhere. I was I was with Gio, Yelly, you and me. And then she told me she's like, no fucking way. I just had a dream with Gio, Yelly, you and me. Damn, what the fuck? And we were walking somewhere. And the place she described that we were walking, I described the exact same spot. What the fuck? So it's like yeah. it's like our dreams somehow it was like a continuation merged together. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. a continuation. Cause her dream was the same area, but mine was just the, the same area in a different spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it Damn, was like what the it was fuck? weird with the same people too. So it was just like, why do we have the same dream with the same people in the same spot at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, bro. Like, what does that even mean? But uh, bro, like recently, like I think like I think it was two days ago, uh, I had a dream. So it was me, you, Abby, and my girl. Right? It was it was in my car. We was on the highway, and you know how like on the highway, like sometimes like it's, it's like you're making not really like a like a curve, but like. All right, so the highway curves, so like your 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 fucking steering wheel just stays like that for like a little while. I know yeah. what you're talking about, yeah. So my so it was like that, but I, we were going, I was going fast, and then a car ends up like hitting me in the back, and like we swerve out and shit, we end up crashing, and then I don't know, so I, I don't know, but the car didn't, uh, my car didn't get fucked up, but, and then a little bit after, uh, the car dies, like while like we were, like while we were about to like leave the spot, like it dies. So me and you went to go go get like gas or whatever to try and like to, to restart it up. But the thing is like the day after, my mom said her car her car turned off like the battery completely turned off, and uh, it was like not really the highway but there was a bunch of cars and like yeah. it literally it, it stopped it turned off as she was turning. What the fuck? And she she no was there mommies. she was there bro and like. She she called me and she was like, "Yo, my car just turned off," because I mean she because she had, did have this problem for a while where with like the mechanic fucking up. I don't know what the fuck the mechanic's doing, but like the car turned off in the middle of the road and she said like, "Yo, God forbid, like what if I was on the highway and like it turned off?" Yeah, bro. Damn. That would have been bad. Yeah. No that, that should be weird, bro. Yo, right now I just said um, you were talking about the dream that you had with Abby. There's, have you guys ever had it? Like, have you ever guys dreams where like. You keep dreaming of the same place, but doing a different thing at this at that same place. So like, I had yeah. this dream of like, 
this fucking big ass building in like the middle of the forest bro like the first dream that i had like it was like i was there for um now one of the first ones that i remember it was like kind of like a shopping mall but it mm -hmm. wasn't so like what are they like a church like an old church i don't know how to explain it to you bro but it was like it's, just, it's bro it's like literally in the middle of the forest like it just like it's a big building there like yeah. just there like and i've dreamt it but i've done something different every time that i dreamt it at the, at same, the place? same place bro so like like i said there was one with the shopping mall right like the there was it looked weird i can't even explain how it looked like because it was just like a different type of building building like it was weird looking and um people were just like running out of it but like i ended up staying there and it was like it looks like it looked like a big like oval not oval like half a circle type of thing like stairs mm -hmm. but like it looked like a fountain at the bottom of it and it was, like a big ass exit all the way but it was like i was just there just chilling like mm -hmm. and then there's another dream where like it was kind of like a party but it was kind of like a like a, it was like a it's kind of like a school like different like aged people are there like it's not like one specific group sometimes um friends are there like my friends are there i don't think you guys have been there or mm -hmm. or, or abby but i've I, I know for a fact i've seen a couple of friends there and um this like i said this it was like a party like a school like gathering like there was kids all over like grown-ups all over and i'm just there like trying to avoid all these people and shit and like I ended up, like, going to, like, this other side of the building where, like, some fuck shit ended up happening. And, like, the police started, like, chasing after, like, I think me or, like, other people trying to find out, like, a specific person or something. And, um, that, I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck ended up happening after that, bro. But, like, I've, I've dreamt this shit again. And, like, I've, I've, I've dreamt, like, leaving the place but like staying around in that same area but like not being able to leave mm -hmm. like what the fuck and like i remember even there's like a whole parking garage on the in the basement and shit like that's how deep it's gotten into it. like or there's like i've seen different floors of this yeah. one specific building like that i don't even know anything about like and um i don't even know but oh touching back on like that whole may situation with the dreams and shit i had a dream that like um just fire bro just fire like a door like mm -hmm. i remember like I, I don't even know what i was doing but i just remember looking straight and in front of me there was just a door and there was fire all around it like just like that just fire like a big ass circle of fire and i remember i looked at it and i was like and i remember i saw like a person like just like a like a black figure just standing right in front of it and i remember i was just looking at it like what the fuck is going on and then boom i woke up and I forgot my dream. I forgot it right then and there. But I knew I had had a nightmare. Yeah. Because uh, I ended up telling me about it. I'm like, yo, I, j I just had a nightmare, but I can't remember what it was. Like, mm -hmm. it's so weird, like, that I'm thinking about it so much. But, like, I know it fucking scared me. And um, we didn't even talk about it after that. Like, it kind of just, like, was brushed under. It wasn't even until later on in the in the nighttime or, like, the day after. Um, we were watching TV. And then, boom, like, out of nowhere, it was just, like, a... I don't know what the fuck we were watching, but there was, like, a, a door, and it was fire all over it. And it just kind of, like, took me back. Like, like boom, like, I dreamt this shit. And I and that's when I just... It just clicked, and I just said it. Like, yo, what the fuck? This this is exactly what I dreamt. This is it. This is this is what I was talking about that I had a nightmare the other day of. And then we were just there, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, that's mad weird. And then, bro, like, a couple days later, like, her house, like... It's not her house, but like the third floor of, of the house, like yeah. a room ended up catching on fire and shit. And um, her her dad was telling us a story about how he went up there and like he said that everything was smoky. He said that like um they didn't know if there was anyone trapped in the room that was on fire, so they were trying to like knock on the door and trying to see if anybody was there, try to hear anything. But um, he said that he was like kind of like hitting the door so much that at one point it kind of like fake opened. And he said that he saw, like, the fire, like, and the smoke kind of just, like, rise up from there. Like, and he saw, like, and he was, like, he was, like, yo, like, that shit looked crazy. The way the smoke came, like, came out of the room and just, like, came out to, like, the hallway and shit. And, like, the fire, the way it just yeah, looked. Bro. Yeah, bro. And once he said that shit, I'm, like, yo, like, again, it just took me back to that dream, you know. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that dreams literally do have something to do with, with real life. But sometimes, like... 
like somehow some way i feel like dreams manifest manifest their way into the real yeah. life like like the energy like, I feel, like I feel like sometimes dreams are warnings i feel like yeah like in this also, case bro. in this case like every dream that we had like it was kind of like a warning or like a sign like yo look out for this or this is gonna happen or i was gonna say maybe it's like like i don't know whatever it is it's like another power it's like a like, power that we have maybe, like, maybe it's like a power that we have or like something like god or something warning, warning us, trying to tell yeah. us like and that's probably the only way that you we would understand it, yeah, yeah. and like they would communicate with us yeah, yeah definitely bro it's like the fucking movie we saw black phone with the 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 sister with their dreams warning warning girl about the brother yeah wait what, what movie black phone black phone huh? With the sister? Oh, yeah. Nah, that's crazy. That, like, we were talking about it, and then that movie comes over. It's just like, yeah. nah, bro. Dreams are dreams are definitely a different type of vibe, bro. Like, when when I hear people tell me that they don't dream, it's kind of like... There's people that, there's, <laughs> there's people, there's like people, people that tell you that? Yeah, Mondo, that My cousin Mondo, Mondo said he barely dream. dreams. He probably does. He just doesn't remember it, bro. Cause nah, he tells me straight up. He doesn't dream like no, that. No, bro. Everybody dreams. Like... Mad times that in the middle of the night they just don't remember. Yeah, I'm telling you that, right now, that could be that could we probably, be. It. We probably had a bunch of dreams last night, but we don't remember them. I know I dreamt last night, but I don't remember what I dreamt. That's what I'm saying. You see, why do you think? Why do you think we don't remember them? Because uh, I don't know actually. But there's dreams that like stay with me. Like yeah, like the lot. certain dreams that we remember, but the certain dreams that we don't remember. Or probably like it probably just has no importance. Sometimes yeah, yeah. Maybe. You think so? Deja vu, deja vu is definitely weird too, though. Like you ever like I. I did I, did I ever tell you about the deja vu situation? No, I don't know. Right, I think so. so. Uh, like, I have a theory about deja vu. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you have deja vu is because that point in time is where something that you do could could change your life. Forever. Okay. I like that. That definitely has a, a, a good sound to it. Because, so, the situation was uh, I had broken up with Avi. Mm-hmm. We were broken up. And uh, we had we had not seen each other for a minute. I want to say a minute, like maybe two months or a month, right? Two months, two months, right? Two months, damn. Two she m- remembers, bro. Huh? So two months. It was two months. We didn't see each other for two months. That's a long time. That is but, a long time. But, uh, and then we ended up like I was going on. I was on my way to the park because that's when I at the time when I used to work out a lot. I used to go on runs and shit. So I was gonna go for a run and a workout at the park. And she so happened to drive by. And I, I just made it seem like I didn't see her. I didn't really want to, like, it was awkward, you know what I'm saying? So I just, like, pretend like I didn't see her and I kept walking. And then uh, I took a different route because I didn't want her to to be at the park because she knew I was going to be at the park. Yeah. So I made it seem like I wasn't going to the park. And she so happened to go to the park. So she went to the park and she started reading a book. And I didn't see her at first because I was just doing my run. I had finished my workout. And I was like, you know what? After my workout, I'm going to go for a run. Fuck it. So I put my stuff down, started going for a run. And, uh, and then I see her. I'm like, oh, my gosh. No fucking way. First of all, I was tight. I was like, oh, my God. She definitely saw me coming here. And she just wanted to come. And I was tight. And I was like, you know what? Like, let me, like, let me, like, fix things, you know? Like, because we didn't have no closure for each other. And let me just, like, because at the time, I felt like I was changing for the better. So I felt like. Let me be a good person for once. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, let me try to fit. Like, no loose ends. And then uh, I remember, uh, so you, you see how there's a, a bridge in, in Cloves? Okay. The small park. The small, that's the one on Forest? Closer yeah, yeah, to Forest? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was sitting at the edge of, like, you see how there's, like, the bridge and then you could go, like. You could, yeah, on the side, right? There's, like, that little space right she there. She was sitting there. And then uh, I was passing by the bridge because I was going to go home. I was going to just go home. And then I look back and I'm like, should I go? And then that point in time, as soon as I said, should I go? I got deja vu. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, mm-hmm. yes. Kind of I, just like- I swear to everything I love. I, I, I had that feeling. And I was just looking up and I was like. I was just looking up and I was just like, no fucking way. So this is what deja vu feels like. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like I just stopped for five seconds. And I was just like, do I, in my head, I was like, either I take the risk or I don't. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather live with taking the risk rather than regretting not taking the risk at all. Mm-hmm. So I went back. 
and I decided to fix things. And that's why Julia is here. <laughs> so Julia, so, all the talk was a walk in the park, bro. And, and look, if, she's like, I don't even go fun. And, and if if I would have never walked back, who knows? Julia probably would have never been here. Yeah, bro. Everything happens be, for a reason. Bro. Yeah, it's all like a butterfly effect. Like, yeah, no matter what, yo, no matter what even like the smallest shit. fucking decisions OD, could bro. like. Yeah. Or like when people say like I wish I could go back to go back and change something, bro. Uh, that would that change, would change really, everything. Yeah. That would literally everything that just happened wouldn't even be there. Now it's like a whole different like story. Like, like yeah, like a whole different. It's like, oh, uh, like chapter. you didn't go to the park. All right, well now like I don't even know how to explain it. Just everything just changes. Everything is yeah. different now. Like nothing stays the same, bro. It's fucking weird. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's why I feel like that's what that's what deja vu is like. Yes, it, it does feel like you've been there already, but what does that mean? You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's why everybody says, "Oh, it's a feeling that deja vu is just a feeling that you've been there before." But why do you feel like you've been there before? Why does it feel like everything lines up to that one point? Mm -hmm. Like you, you become so aware that you're like this, this point exactly. Yeah, why? yeah. You just snap into yeah, it. Yeah, like... yeah. Like why? Like why that exact point? And that's that's my theory on it. Oh, sorry. And that's that's my theory on it. Yeah. You so like, I remember when I was telling. So I remember how I told you that like I was having these dreams and everything was coming like into real life at one yeah. point in my life. Like yeah. it was literally like days, like days and days and days. Yeah. So I was hanging around my friends a lot at the time. So I oh. I, t I told them about it. My friend Alexis, he was like, hmm. He was like, so why don't you try to change what's happening in the dream? In the dream, like in real life. So you see how you're dreaming that in your dream. So, do the like, do the opposite of what's going on. Like, change it. And I thought about it, and I'm like, nah. Like, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm like, I think I'm dreaming this for a reason. Like, I think it's telling me to, to, to like, you know, build on what's going on in my dreams. Like, I don't think I should, like, run away from it. More, like, embrace it. Mm -hmm. And then literally after, I think, like, I would have dreams a lot back then, but, like, from that moment on is when I felt like I was actually starting to get like more connected into my dreams. Like mm -hmm. I started feeling like, you know, just like weird. Like I started feeling like shit, I could tell the future, bro. Cause I literally was dreaming what the fuck was going on in real life yeah. like yeah. days before and shit. So like, yeah, it may not seem like nothing crazy, but like when you're, when you're constantly doing that, it kind of becomes scary because it's like, what the fuck am I dreaming? You know, like, yeah. um, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, what happened? Okay. So I forgot about this. So the same, the same night that it was a Halloween. That same night. So oh, scared. like af after the black phone shit? Yeah. After okay. we left. That same night. So uh, we were sleeping, whatever. I fell asleep like always, knocked out first. Then she usually knocks out with Julia, and then um. So whatever, it was the middle of the night. I get woken up by her and she tells me, baby, I'm scared. I'm like, why? She's like, cause something just touched my leg. And I'm like, you're lying. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm serious right now. Something, something, my leg was hanging off the bed like this. <gasps> oh my God, Abby, what the heck? And something went like, And I woke her up. What's up with you guys, like, having, like, scary shit happening after we watch a scary movie? Like, first Hereditary, now this? I feel like, I don't know, I feel like maybe we, I don't know, we bring that energy, we attract that energy. I don't fucking know what it is, like. Wait, what, what happened after Hereditary? We kept hearing the. No mames. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys ever watched that movie, but in the movie, there's a very, very, like, specific noise that the one of the fucking characters make is. And we kept hearing that after, after like the movie, especially in our room, at, in our room for like mad long, it was, and we would always hear. It. Oh my god, bro! That just gave me goosebumps a little bit. Nah, you know, that's you, fucking weird. You, man. you know, you know why the girl does that in the movie? Why she does that? Yeah, uh, I don't think so. No, you don't know why? Cause, uh, cause you know how like the, oh the whole like Kings of Hell that they were talking about like she's okay. one of the, the well the person she in her was, is, yeah so. The, I guess the, the that that specific king of hell rides a horse and the it's like the hooves of the the horse, horse. that the, the king of hell like uh, rides on. Uh, 
That movie gives me the creeps still to this day, bro. I could watch that movie so many times, and it's just every time. I'll never forget the first time I watched it. Like, like you know that scene where it's, like, mad dark? And I think they're in the, the boys' room, like, the her older brother's room. And, like, in the top of the corner, you see the mom just standing oh, there. Oh, that, that's in the living room, yeah. That's uh, in the living room, yeah. Uh, now, the, uh, the scene that always gets me is, like, um, like uh, they're all, like, well, they have their heads chopped off. And they're, like... Oh, at the end? And then the treehouse scene. Oh no! The, the, don't, one don't, of the one of them has their heads. No, off. it's it's the grandma and the the mom who has the heads chopped off. Who are like, oh yeah, yeah that, like, that always like, gets to me. Like, <laughs> like they put them in that position, and then everybody else That's is just in the same position. Is in the same position, and then like they start chanting. Yeah, they start saying the the fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to say, it, but and I kept hearing that in my dreams too. Oh my god! Or the or the scene where like. Uh, or like the scene like where the where kid, the well, kid is in the like in the attic already, and like you keep hearing the, oh like the, the no the banging the banging like she's oh, banging and then oh, like her head, the camera goes down, yeah, literally just banging her. Oh my god, I can't even. Yo, oh my god, yeah, that's like that's such a good ass movie, bro. That's oh my god, movie. bro, that, that, that sc- movie that has gave me the creeps, bro. bro the, the shit that always got to me was like when Charlie first dies, and then like all you see is like the brother like his, his state of shock. shock. Bro, like, that, that, that's, that's how it would be. Like, what do you do? At he that didn't moment? even do anything. He just kind of just like went inside his room and just fell asleep. And the, you hear it in the he movie. He didn't even sleep, sleep the whole night. Oh, he didn't even sleep, right? And he was the, like awake, yeah. And then the mom, you hear the mom wakes up the next day and like starts, to go to her oh car and starts screaming bro, from nah. outside. Like, that shit is. <sighs> Can't, bro. That's just. That movie is like, it's crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, just a lot of different like the 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 more you think about it, the more like fucked up it gets. Like the the, the little things about it, like the fact that this was all kind of like premeditated yeah, since like planned out, yeah, bro, the years gra- before. The like, gr- great grandma sold their soul. Yeah, bro, like they fuck. She basically sold all her whole family yeah, soul. Yeah, bro. Or like, bro, even in the right in the beginning of the movie where the where the the daughter's like looking at in in her mom's like stuff, and like. She she notices some weird shit and she just puts it down and she's like walking out and she just decides to look back and you see the grandma and you see the grandma's shadow I just got there chills, like chills bro yeah oh, fuck you <laughs> man this is this is fucking me up because I'm getting what do you like, like is that the scariest movie you ever seen or you seen like worse nah like, bro I think I definitely feel like that has to be the most the scariest movie I think I that's, feel like I've seen really I feel like yeah I remember when I first I, I saw a con the Conjuring like in the movie theaters when it first came out yeah. both of them the first yeah, the those, first and the second. Those are pretty scary. Those were those were scary. The second one had like some some very very scary scenes, like the scene where like the the you see how like um like I'm talking about dreams again. The the Lorraine Warren like has that dream of of her husband dying. dying? Yeah, yeah. And she sees like the the nun in her dream, mm-hmm. and then in real life, like her husband wakes up and says, "Yo, I had a dream about oh, some weird shit." I just got chills again. And then, <laughs> And then, and then he ends up like painting he, the, the and nun. And he was like, "What do you think about it?" And he shows her, and it's a fucking nun. Like that shit is. Ugh. Now and that then, painting of the nun is scary. Yeah, as hell, bro. that was bro. And then and then later on in the movie, like the the mom, I mean, uh, Lorraine Warren is like, she sees her daughter sees the nun in the oh, house. Oh yeah, yeah. And and, and yeah. Lorraine goes after her, and then she walks into the the her husband's like office and shit like it turns and black then, and, and then the, everything turns black yeah and then you see the fucking like the shadow of the lady like walking like on the wall and then gets to the fucking like the painting, the painting and just runs to her with a painting in the hand nah, no mommies bro that shit is fucking <laughs> scary bro. and the fucking craziest part is that that shit was based off like real basically like real, ba- real like, based shit. off real shit so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. fake shit bro mm-hmm. that's the Ugh. craziest part about it though i gotta pee Wait, did, you, did you hear what i said what about my girl no, what happened? Oh, uh, so because the whole, you know how his like, I mean, Abby, like her, she got her her uh, for grad. Her for grad. Okay. Same thing happened to my girl multiple times. I don't know if it was this, like her feet like like twice, but I know one time she like she had texted me like, yo, like something just grabbed my feet. Not grabbed my feet. Something just tickled my foot, my feet. What the fuck? But she thought it was her brother, like like trying to prank her, cause like she was playing a game and like her her again her 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 foot was like at the edge. Right, right, right. So she didn't think anything of it until she turned to see her brother was sleeping or on the on her on his bed. Nobody was there, so she was like, "What the fuck could have tickled my feet?" Damn, what the fuck? When I was young, 
I had this one time where I was uh, laying down in bed, bro. I used to have a bunk bed with my sister. I don't mm-hmm. know if I said this. I don't think I did. Nah. So I had a I have a bunk bed with my sister, and mm-hmm. um, I was in the top bunk, obviously, and um, I was like laying down already, bro, and um, I felt like something touch my leg like this, bro, like just like that, like just mad fast, just like touch me, and I was like, what the fuck? And I got up and I looked around, but nigga, I'm on the top bunk, bro. Like mm-hmm. nobody's gonna be up there. My sister, like n- nothing, bro. It was just like too too quick, like too too fast of a touch to be anything Mm -hmm. and um i got like really like fucking weirded out and i just was like i didn't really do anything or say much about it i was like 10 11 at the time Mm -hmm. and uh the next day like um i woke up and i just like i I did my bed every morning when i used to wake up when i was young because my mom was like that so i was like there like doing my doing my like folding my sheets Mm-hmm. And then I dead ass felt something touch my back this time. Like Again? as I was doing it, yes, bro. The ne- the very next morning, bro, I felt something touch my my shirt, and it just kind of like not lifted it up, but like like the fuck, like it just moved it, bro. Yeah. And I just was like, what the fuck? And I after that, I just went straight to my mom and I told her about it. I'm like, mom, like I just like, last night I was like in bed, and then I just felt something touch my leg, and then. Today right now I'm just doing my doing my fucking bed, bed yeah. again and then I just feel somebody touch me from the back like that shit is like what the fuck like and my mom was just like she just told me to like try to like Ignore not it. give too much attention to it because you know it's not really that good. Mm-hmm. She was like I I, sh- I don't think my mom even knew what to tell me because it's just, she probably took her like at, oh like at, like by surprise as well but. Mm-hmm. She dead ass told me like, oh, just like, just try not to think about it and and don't think it's bad. Always think that it's something good. Like, don't don't try to like, always, you know, it could be just like a loved one or just anything, just any something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, bro, that that shit dead ass happened to me. Like, that's like the only time that I felt like I was like touched by somebody or something. Like, what like laying down, bro. Like that that definitely was weird. You know. I mean, I never had, like, anything like that. Like, Good. <laughs> Facts, bro. You don't want that, that shit to happen to you. Like, you just once, feel once, weird. Once it happens, bro, you never forget it, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I know I know this story that my mom tells me, like, to this day, like, so when she was <laughs> when she was young, my, maybe, like, 12, 13 uh, is when her, like, her, like, my grandpa passed away, and he, she was sleeping in, in her room, in his room. And she had lit, up, like, I think, multiple candles. or just one candle. I forgot how, what, what it exactly was. But she lit a candle. And then she was sleeping. And then she heard, she hears the candle fall to the ground and start rolling, right? No, mom. Starts rolling. She looks at the candle and, like, she says, like, I think she says to stop. And then it stops. Or, and then she just lets it be. She goes back to sleep. And then the same thing wakes her up again. It's rolling. And then she says... Like, bye, like, I know it's you. Like, like I know you're here right now. But can you stop? And then it stops. And then after that, like, the, like the whole thing completely stops. Like, you don't hear the, the candle roll on the floor ever again. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I have this, I have this one last thing that I, uh, I want to talk about. So, I saw this video of... Actually, I'm going to show you guys the video. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what you guys think. Alright, so basically, right, uh, hold up, make sure I'm recording. Alright, so in the video, there's kids bullying another kid, right? The one in the blue, they're shaving his head, right? Right, right. And then the security guard in the background is laughing, like he's not doing anything. And when I first saw it, I was, I was kind of confused. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Until, so, like, you actually, like, do more research and then. Ends up being the, the 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 kid in the blue shirt. He's he's a special ed kid. So you have these other fucking kids shaving his head, recording him, bullying him, right. and the, the security guard not doing any, not doing anything and just letting it happen, also laughing. Right. And it was getting me tight because like how do like I, I just hate bullies in general because I've been bullied before, yeah, and man. I just got, I don't I don't get the point of like like why like especially like somebody who's defenseless def- defenseless. Like why? That makes you just like a, 
a more like even bigger pussy. Yeah, definitely, bro. Like that shit, that shit got me heated when I saw it. Nah, yeah, I would, I would definitely. <laughs> I probably would have lost my shits if that was my kid. To be honest, like. I would have violated every single one of their parents. I'm being dead ass. Yeah, like, I was like, what the fuck? I would have violated their parents. I wouldn't even say nothing to the kids. I would dead ass violate their parents. Like, I don't even know. I would probably, like, I don't know what I would do. Just to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be thinking about, I'm very overprotective over Julia. Like, I don't, wherever we be at, even if it's family or whatever, I'm always watching her. And it's not even like, 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 cause I'm like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's just like, the dad, it's your bro. kid, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. your like, dad, bro. It's like, different. It's like I'm a fucking lion protecting my literally my little yeah, one. You cub, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, and like sometimes I feel like people feel like, oh, like he's doing too much, but nah, it's just like you want to protect your kid, bro. And especially like we we were, we were kids before. I'm not saying we're fucking old or whatever, but we were kids and we know how evil fucking kids can be sometimes, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, even thanks. a little like what gets me crazy tight is when like bullying, right? Mm -hmm. But like I I don't like when somebody makes a little comment. And then the kid feels like they have to change it because they, they're not accepted because of that little thing. Like, I saw this thing on TikTok that it was this this little boy has uh, has glasses, right? Right. And he has these things that hold... You see, it's like attaches... Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the next day, uh, his mom ended up recording a TikTok. I don't know why people put, put that shit on TikTok, but that's just a perfect example. It's like awareness. I think I've seen that video. It's like spreading awareness, you know? But um, fucking... Um, the little boy is like starts taking it off and he says he doesn't want them anymore because they're ugly. But it's for the simple fact that somebody commented and said that it looks weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, bro. That, that's why I I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like from a young age, shit affects you throughout your whole lifetime. Yeah, bro. For a fact, bro. And if and if everybody raised their kids right, the right way and, and like fucking taught them to be kind and respectful and show everybody the same love no matter skin anything that it is from a young age bro the world will be a way better place than it is Definitely, now bro, bro. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm scared about like for julia i want her to be like yo like fuck what anybody says you know what i'm saying if you see somebody getting bullied tell the bully to fuck off and if they do something to you tell the tell the fucking teacher and if the teacher doesn't do something tell me and i'll probably do something yeah you know what i'm saying like Nah, facts, bro. Fuck bullies. You you ever dealt with bullies and shit like that? Or no? Oh hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel some. I feel like sometimes, um, like I said, shit happens for a reason. So like, when I was in the fifth grade, not gonna lie, like I kind of used to bully this kid, right? And um, I kind of like I definitely like obviously I feel bad about it, you know. But at the time, like when I was in the fifth grade, like I just thought like I was cool and shit. Yeah. But then I went up to the sixth grade. <laughs> I went up to the sixth grade, bro, and then in the sixth grade is when like, like the karma started coming back. Like, yeah. I wasn't the I wasn't the bully. I was being bullied, you know. And um, sixth grade was definitely tough in a lot of different ways. Like, um, I wasn't getting bullied more for like what I was wearing. I guess just people just wanted to act like they was like tough and shit, and they would like you know just act a certain way towards me and like, you know. And, like, I look back at it now, and I'd be like, damn, like, fuck them. Like, I know that shit wouldn't fly now. Like, you know, like, now I feel like I got myself, like, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm chilling. But, like, you know, back then, like, it was, like, definitely, like, it fuck with me, bro, you know? Yeah. And, it, and it puts you in, in a, in a, in a, how can you say, like, you think about yourself, like, like kind of weak. Yeah, like yeah. insecure, weak. Like, no, yeah, like you can't like, hold yourself. Like you can't, you can't protect yourself. You know, like I, yeah, that's how I was in, uh, in middle school. I used to get bullied, like, cause I was like, I always get bullied, cause I was like, I was skinny, and like people, will, like, I guess it's easier to pick on me, cause I'm not that strong. Right, right. And also, and then high school with my my acne, people would comment about it and like make fun of it. But like, I I, I guess it it made me into like a stronger person to now like. No one says that anything to me or like, yeah, no like, one. Yeah, like it's just I guess people grow up too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, bro. but I mean, I just want to see like the the kids that were doing that to the other that 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 specific kid in the video. Y'all are all pussies, bro. Like, <laughs> especially the security guard. Nah, that yeah. ass, bro. Especially the security guard out of all of them, because kids are gonna be evil. I'm not saying kids kids are. That's not no um. How do you say it? like? What's the word? Like, I'm not trying to. Justify the bullying, uh -huh. but 
I feel like sometimes when you're a kid, you do stupid decisions. And those kids will eventually realize that what they did was wrong. Yeah. But the adult... In the room didn't say much about it if, either. If I the guess. adult in the room didn't say anything, that's he's the one to blame, bro, out of all of the whole situation. Yeah. The kids, obviously, they deserve a fucking beating and shit. Well, like, they're <laughs> in high school. Oh, they deserve to get fucked up. Like, <laughs> yeah. to be honest, like, they, they, nah, they're fucking adults now. Never yeah, mind. That's, 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 Hold that's, up. That's, that's, I thought it was middle say, school or some nah, shit. Nah, but it's high school, bro. All right, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. They're pussies, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah pussies, bro. Yeah, they're literally pussies, bro. But, um... It's the worst part is the security guard, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. are trusting you with their kids' lives, bro. Like, <laughs> He's laughing. That ass, bro. Like, He's over here laughing about like, this what? shit. Like, what? Fucking douchebag. Anyways, let's just end this shit. Nah, yeah, but that concludes episode uh, 37. Wait, wait. I was about to ask. Oh, what? What y'all think about, like, takeoff, man? Oh, we didn't even talk about that shit, bro. I was literally about to ask it, too. I fucking... Crazy. Fuck, I mean, now we, might well, we might as well talk about it, because... Yeah, we could have a... That, that's, a that's another thing, bro, like... Bro, he died over a dice game. Like, it's crazy, bro. What, what gets me every time is the fact that like people keep dying. Like, like it's not even just he's not the first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. bro. He's definitely. not the first. It was PNB Rock. Just before that happened. was a couple more rappers. I'm not aware of the specific order. Yeah, but they were. It's he's not the first, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. and it's just crazy how like who's next? You know what I'm saying, bro? It's sad, literally... it's sad to think like that, but that's true. It's f- big, big facts, bro. It's fucking crazy. And I don't wish that upon any of the f- like nobody, nobody. But like, it's crazy to think that it I could don't... happen at any moment, bro. I literally had woken up right, and I went to the bathroom. The first thing I see when I open up my phone was takeoff dies over takeoff uh, passes uh, gets shot over a dice game. And it's just like, are you serious right now? A dice game? Like, yeah, bro. That's the shit that I wear. We were just talking about earlier. You die over nothing like that. Literally shit. nothing, like, bro. Like, like, the dice game is done. Now what? Now a life is lost. For yeah. what, bro? Over money, bro. Over money. And money is... The root of all evil. <laughs> money is not worth a life, bro. Like, it's not. One of the most common things in the world, bro, money. But to certain people, it's it means it's everything. The world to them. It means everything to them. Those are the people who are lost, bro. Those people are lost. Like, money definitely is worth something, but it's not worth a life, bro. Nah. I don't give a fuck what argument you have. Yeah, no, nah, it's big, but fish, it's, bro. it's not. It's definitely not. I, I, I don't know. I just hate seeing artists, uh, like especially these young, because he was twenty eight, bro. That's that's fucking young. Yeah, like bro. they, they just keep dying, like. Like, ever since, I feel like ever since X died, like, I know he wasn't the first artist to die either, because there was Biggie and Tupac before and other people before him, yeah. but, like, I guess in our, our era of seeing the artists that we listen to, yeah, yeah. like, that's fucking, like, it sucks. Like, we're seeing all these, like, not motherfuckers, but all these people die over nothing. Like, it's... it's, it's Facts, bro. X, X pass, gets basically killed basically the same way. People are trying to rob him. Yeah. He probably didn't want to give up the money. Boom. That's that's honestly um, like, who else? The pop smoke poses his address by accident on that on Instagram. On NB Rock, yeah, his Rock. NB Rock, his girl his, poses his location. Kind of his location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People say that like sh- that he that she has set him up and shit, but like, bro, like you don't be doing that shit, man. Like you know, I don't think so. I I, I really don't think that she would have set him up. And, well, like, I mean, I, I don't think maybe not on purpose, but there was more like there was an interview. I, I don't know if it was with, D, with DJ Academics, but. That shit was happening multiple times. Like and like to be honest, like I feel like when you're at that certain level, bro, you don't want to post your location. Yeah, at all. Like, or you don't want to bring that attention to you because facts. Like there's stuff like that, especially at this world, like the world that we live in now. Yeah. Like it's worse. Like just recently, um, it was uh, Lil Uzi, and uh, oh, and Kai and Kai Sinat. Uh, they went. They, they were yeah, in they Soho. Were in Soho. Like yesterday night, they were recording a music video. Fucking shut down New York, yeah, bro. Yeah, we literally um, it was it was last night, and sure. I remember seeing the location. We, we were about to go, but like we just didn't end up going for whatever reason because mm-hmm. we thought some bad shit was gonna happen. Right, right. Because right. whenever somebody posts their location, Something somebody just sends a thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so we didn't go, but it luckily, was crazy. Yeah, luckily, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yes, thank God. Mm-hmm. But it was just nah, like, yeah, bro. It sucks, man. Takeoff is like I've been listening to the Migos since I was like in. Freshman year in middle school, in high school, that's like 2014, 2013. That's when yeah. I started high school, 2013. 
Started with fucking listening to Chinatown, Hannah Montana. I don't even know if y'all know those songs. I mean, I, I, don't. I don't want that. I don't want that. I know, I know, I know all the songs that you play because really, like, every Hannah time Montana. we would be on your fucking, in your car, you always play like the Migos and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro. That's fucking crazy. sad, like, bro. It's sad, bro. I, like two a couple of podcasts ago, literally we talked about P and B Rock. Like that's like this is the second time we're talking about an artist Another dying, rapper, bro. Yeah. Two episodes from now, who? But like, bro, that's OD, Chill. bro. Like, it's crazy out here, bro. That's OD, but bro. But it's facts. Yeah, I mean, hey. R. R. P. Rest in Paradise, take off for real. Facts, and man. R. P. Take off. Like prayers to like anybody that was close to him or get family. <laughs> but but yeah. Siéntate, 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 para que no te regañen. Uh, anything else you guys want to say before we end it? Or say shout out to our Patreons oh, I bet. before we uh, end the episode. Shout out to Roberto Cervantes, Jennifer, Camilo de Dios, and that space guy. So shout, shout out, out to you guys. guys. You guys Love are you guys. making making us one step closer to success, quitting, success, and quitting our jobs <laughs> and doing this full time. But yeah, that concludes episode thirty-seven. Thank you to Gregorio for hopping on and like again another fire-ass fucking podcast. Every time we have, and every time we have him, I say this all the time. He's he's honestly one of the best guests we always have because it's like it's just it's smooth as fuck. Yeah, bro. Like, bro. Like this shit went. Yo, I'm telling you right now, bro. This is gonna be another like. Banger episode, yeah, yeah. I so, bro. I really do appreciate y'all for having me, man. It's fun. It's really is fun doing it. Just every time we do this shit, something weird always happens. Always happens. Yeah, like literally, yeah. the first time I shot with you, I remember I had something wrong with, like, with your teeth. Tooth. Yeah, like I could have sworn something was going on, but the whole time my fucking wisdom tooth was coming out. Yeah, Fuck. and then today, like I just hope just... we're not bad luck. <laughs> nah, it's not. Nah, nah, so, bro. bro. I think it's just bad timing with people doing retarded shit. Yeah, yeah today was just. A different vibe, but I mean, nonetheless, like this shit is always fun. It's always fun talking to y'all. It always feels like you guys said smooth. It feels yeah. like we could just keep talking for hours and hours. And it feels like we're just, we're catching up because we barely like hang out anymore. Yeah, so, yeah. it's tough out here, busy. bro. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. all grown ups now. Yeah. That's, that's that's what. I, oh, fuck, I I, I want to end the episode, but I just want to <laughs> say this. I was just, <laughs> just I was just, just I was just say over it. there um because I, I basically just missed a, a a birthday party of Abby's family member uh-huh. like. For to record, but I mean, it's not. It's not like I'm saying like fuck. I have to record. It's more like when you when you get into adult life, it kind of gets lonely. Yeah. And I just hope everybody like forgives me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because they they don't see this. They feel like I feel like some people think I'm an asshole for mm-hmm. not talking to them or not hanging out with them or like not being able to or not showing up to certain spots or events or yeah. whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I. I have to be. We have to be successful. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. To, you yeah. have to choose yourself before everybody else. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's true, bro. But oh, right. uh, yo, you want to shout out like like your Instagram or anything else? Um. So if y'all want, y'all could. <laughs> Julia. Julia. Come on. Julia, say something. Uh, yeah, yeah, Say something. Say hi. Julia, how old are you? How old are you? Julia, how old are you? How old are you, Julia? Seriously. Julia, how old are you? How old are you? One. How old are you, Julia? <laughs> uh, no? I mean, I, I can follow my Instagram. Uh, yeah, we'll probably put it in the video. It's just Gregorio Perez. Nothing mm-hmm. really crazy. I don't really post, but y'all can still follow me. I'll be posting some funny videos on my story. That's really it. Nah, yeah. Well, go give him some love. Uh, you watch it for the camera. Uh, again, thank you again for for joining us, yeah, and facts. of course, like we're gonna have you another episode. Who they're knows gonna, when? They're, they're gonna you're gonna see comments saying, "Yo, another fucking episode with Greg." You, let's go, let's go. Right yes. Now. But yeah, uh, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody listening on YouTube. Uh, I have to post on Spotify. That's one thing that I have not done. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Spotify, everybody, like we love y'all. Uh, we'll see you on episode thirty eight for another good episode. And turn on all post notifications on, please. Yes, we need it. Facts, facts, also, facts. Also, comment facts. down below if you made it to this point. Just comment down. I don't know. Any topics random, you want? Some random word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Like, what should they comment down? Uh, com- oh, okay. You know, we should do that. Like a specific part of the video. Like, say a word. That should. They should well, comment. say you pick a word. Yeah, pick a word. Pick a word. Pick a word. Pick a word. Uh, yeah. to Anything they should comment down if they made it to this point. Yeah. Then, I don't know. I don't know. Any any word that you say, or anything. Any word that I say. Yeah. Uh, naughty. All okay. right, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Naughty, naughty, you guys, naughty. If you guys got to the point, say that. Naughty Comment boy, that. naughty boy. Comment uh, that. Uh, uh.
Well, yeah, again, thank you guys, and <laughs> now that the podcast is going noticed. Ah. Uh-huh.